Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is It Sticks Me and welcome back to the Let's Play series of Detroit Become Human. Last episode we finished the first playthrough. Today we are spending some of the bonus points. I did it already for the most. And then we get the God achievement for spending 20,000 of them. And then we head up for some specific chapters for four different trophies and one magazine I suppose so yeah these are our stories spent 20,000 bonus points so we have a total trophy progress of 75% and now we start off with chapter 15 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Then we have to go here. And then we are chasing Rupert and we don't save Hank. Um, your previous checkpoints will be replaced, your story will be updated as you play, and your story won't be overwritten, checkpoints are disabled, flowchart progress is disabled. Uh, I don't know. Alright, uh, we save that. So yeah, we do in this video and maybe in the next specific chapters with different um, choices so we get uh, some specific achievements we will otherwise don't get in the second playthrough and when we have the four achievements and the one and the one magazine then we start off with our second with our second playthrough. So what is our objective here? Investigate the apartment. Yeah, can I just don't go up here? Is it possible? Let's get back into the quick time events. Here we just follow him. Let's go over here. Great, great. Where can I go up here? Oh, there. <laughs> All right, we game in. Why is this so fast? It'll let me get through, please. Mm -hmm. 
Here it doesn't matter. Hang, we already saved you one time. Heads. Perfect. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400496-1. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. <clears throat> you bastard. You saw it was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! <laughs> Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! Helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up. All right, come along. Yes, yes. Why? Why? Catch it! Perfect! Gonna caught up with Rupert. Yes, yes. Oh, and now it saves. Oh, great. So we have completed this one. Perfect. Here now we can go into the main menu. And now we are head up to chapter 28. Uh, with the Freedom March. Oh, da, 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 da. Should be some... Public Enemy, Kamski here, Freedom March. And we start at the checkpoint. In the mall, oh no. Here we reach the plaza. All right, we saved that. So it's unlocked in the flowchart. And here we have to get the trophy. That we have to be standing there our ground. So we have to be steadfast uh, two or three times, so markers get hit, and then we get a tro trophy. Here we are. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. 
If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Uh, stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Stand ground. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all! I guess sacrifice? I hope this is the way we get the trophy. There's no other standing ground stuff. Maybe? Yes, stand your ground. Perfect. Marcus stood his ground against the police. John gave his life to save Marcus. John joined in. Oh! And. Why is it fucking 2 FPS? Oh my goodness. Sometimes I hate this game. Uh, and if we wouldn't say John can join us, Marcus would have died here. I'm pretty sure. Alright. Why? Oh my goodness. Do you see that? hilarious oh my goodness here I do a quick cut and I will restart the game Re oh here it's still lucky so I I restart the game short Alright, here we are. So, for this time, we go with chapter 31. Uh, Night of the Soul. We... Go into... This is pay respects. Marcus on sacred grounds. Yes. Oh, I still have. Oh, I can't. All oh, right. So we do that, and now we don't go for.
where we don't go for the revolution we go for uh, we go for the revolution we go for a revolution I'm sorry first we have to pay some respect for I'm lost Carl Carl I just wanted us to live in peace but everything I touch just turns to dust I don't know what to do anymore all of my options are bad ones no matter what I decide I know there will be blood I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. Help me, Carl. Please help me. Music is just so... Oh. Very great. I don't know why we can't start here. But when I... Think about it, it's... It's good to pay some respect for Mark... Uh, for Call. And then all the bad things we do in the second playthrough, it's good we don't let Carl die. Alright, maybe I have only to do... It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. Uh-huh. I was stupid. No. I should have guessed they were using me. Don't say that, Connor. You're a good I'm boy. Sorry, Marcus. Or a good machine. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Mm. Marcus. Save our people. I 
And I do have to speak to all of them. All right. Not a problem. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Companion. Great. Let's talk to our waifu. Where is she? There. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Goodbye, my ultimate lover. So, we have to talk to Josh. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Horse. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Thanks, mate. Great. So we don't go for the demonstration this time, we go for the revolution. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. We go for the revolution. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me?
At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please? Please? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. All right. So we have to play the full chapters here. And then we have to play maybe on the next episode. Chapter 32, 32. Connor model 313. So this we will see on the next episode as well. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. All right. All right. Identified, 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 identified. Identified, identified. So yeah, we will definitely play this chapter for the trophy and the magazine. And next episode we play for the other trophy. And then the next episode, so like in two episodes, we start over with the bad playthrough. Uh, Connor, please, please, Connor. And then we should be done. And having this game platinum. Level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. 
Okay, reach warehouse level sub forty nine. Okay, we reconstruct here. You so we kick him. Right, quick time event, let's get over. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. And here we are. Oh, reach the bus terminal. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Right, I guess we won't help Luther. I guess we just go through. Basically, they say in the guide, tools with markers, Night of the Soul, or the Revolution. In the next chapter, we have perform all quick times. Well, and then it should give us a trophy. And when we reach the bus station with Kara, we will find on the right side of the but they don't tell me I have to free Luther or I don't have to free Luther. I don't know. Stay close to me. I guess we will see. I'm going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. So let's just look out. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Lucky them, they like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't send the night. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. All right, we 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 save him. Dead, but we have to keep moving. Hey, buddy, this is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to get orders to check all civilians. Fucking android. 
right. Right, we can hide here. Take a look. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Here we have passports. We got still the time, but we have passports. So when we use the same dialogue options, then it should be just fine. Whatever happens, don't panic, okay? Just stay calm. ID, please. Hey, yeah. For sure. Hello. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Across the border. We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. But nothing. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, so we got through. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Oh, hostile. Again. Woodward Avenue, downtown. Big quick time event. Oh no. But it's already over. <laughs> Let's get moving. Thank you, North.
Stay sharp. Shit. They will all be mine. So... Step back, Connor! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Bus terminal. Let's look out. Now there should be on the right side a magazine. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Canada border. Here, there is one. So let's read it. Civil war in Detroit, violence clashes between soldiers and deviants. Androids have taken the streets of Detroit in the apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall, with androids seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. A precaution. But now a group of androids thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city have assaulted one of the android disassembly camps in a terrifying show of force. With total disregard from civilian life, the androids have armed themselves and opened fire in the middle of crowded streets. The authorities have been forced to respond in an attempt to contain the damage and limit the loss of innocent lives. The military presence already on the ground is said to be supported by federal agents and local police officers, but the situation remains highly vi uh, vo volatile. President Warren is said to be monitoring the situation from the White House. The story is still developing, will bring you updates live. And feed lost. Alright. So we won't get that magazine. My little girl. My little... You stole my little girl! Todd. Security! Over here! I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. But I missed my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Good luck.
This is such a great scene. Why we can't go with with thought? And is it possible as well with Luther? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. them did you have a good look in your bag they were in my backpack the envelope must have fallen fuck excuse me you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere did you it has our bus tickets in it and oh, never mind no sorry what are we gonna do we can't stay here we have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, on, honey. Us. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. You're a gift free while you're too... <laughs> My little detail. That is missing. <laughs> But still, I hope I get the trophy. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? We had to make a choice, Alice. It was them or us? But I guess there will be a quick time event. Zoom. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Attack! They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're going to do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Yes. So I guess 
Korea this time, I should know what I have to do. We don't save our people. Josh! Fire. And... Here, I hope I, I get it. Cover me. Sadly, this gives a plus percentage of of the completion rate, the success rate, but. Move till it's over, okay? All right. Cover me. Of our people. We gotta move faster or we'll never reach the camp. Fire. Right, here we are. They can charge Stand by. with me. Follow me. We can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. So you will charge with me. You will charge with signal. me. And you will covering Stand with by. me. Perfect, eighty three percent. We're nearly there, Marcus. There are some quick time events when I remember. Oh, dear. Life is in your hands. Your friend's you life is in your hands. What matters most. Yes, yes. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. Interpose. Overshoot him. Still doesn't get it. Let's 
It's R2. Hold it. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Right, I guess now we get some quick time events. Bro, chill, please. Holy shit, eh? <laughs>
The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. Hmm. So maybe when I press now. No, I just resume. I could maybe go now into the main menu and get the trophy, but... Okay, what else do I have to lose? Let's check it. Yes, we got a liberation. Perfect. So we got Marcus Reach to camp and liberated the androids. So that's 79%. And now we have to play... Chapter 30 to 32. And then... Here. So, here. Then we get another trophy, and then we should start off with the playthrough where Connor dies every time, and we get some baddest trophies. And the rest of the tr open trophies and the platinum. So, thank you very much. And until the next episode, cheers.